Honorable Mudashiro Obasa has been re-elected as the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly. Mr. Obasa was re-elected after Governor Babaji de Sawolu proclaimed the 10th Assembly for the commencement of legislative duties. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, his deputy Kadri Hamzad making their way into the State House of Assembly for the proclamation of the 10th Assembly. <laughs> He's here among other dignitaries to join members of the State Assembly for the ceremony. I hereby declare member elect Dr. Mudashiro Ajayi Obasa as the speaker elect of the 10th Lagos State House of Assembly. Honorable Mudashiro Obasa is again re-elected as the Speaker of the Assembly for another tenure. Other members of the state legislature take oath of office. Mr. Obasa, who is re-elected for three consecutive terms, affirms his commitment to the people of Lagos. I want to thank Mr. Babajide Samoudu for his usual support for the legislature and further commend him for his respect for this house, his neutrality, guidance and advice, his defense of the legislature from external forces and manipulation cannot be emphasized. The air colleagues will stand here today as a testament to Mr. Governor's commitment to good governance and his effort to build a better Lagos for all. Permit me to use this medium to congratulate him and his brother, the Deputy Governor, also on his recent inauguration as the seventh democratically elected Governor and Deputy Governor of Lagos State. Lagos State is a great state with even greater potentials, and we have responsibility to harness these potentials and maximize them for the benefit of our people. We must prioritize the welfare of our constituents and ensure that our policies and legislative framework are geared towards meeting their needs. Under my leadership, this House will operate an open and inclusive administration where all members are carried along and given equal opportunity to contribute towards the development of the state. We cannot achieve greatness working in isolation. Therefore, I encourage all branches of government to work together in harmony to ensure that we do a Lagos that we can all be proud of. Together we have an opportunity to be a better Lagos. A Lagos that provides equal opportunities for all. A Lagos that is safe and secure a Lagos that is a model for sustainable development in Nigeria and the world. To improve the legislature and establish good governance, my fellow colleagues, I must be steadfast and remove any and all obstacles in our path. I have faith that we will succeed. This esteemed house shall sustain our cordial relationship, robust cooperation with the executive arm of government. However, let me say clearly that we shall not compromise the sanctity of our institutional independent and constitutional rules. We further expect resolution passed by this act are given consideration just like be passed by this house. Lastly, I solemnly pledge my commitment to serve this house with humility, honesty, and dedication. I urge my colleagues to join me in this commitment. And together, we shall leave the legacy of excellence that generations yet on board will be proud of. Governor Sawon Lu proclaimed the 10th Assembly asked the lawmakers to work together for the good of the people. It's the turn of the 10th Assembly, an assembly that we believe will be vibrant, an assembly for the first time that is having 20 new member elects and 20 returning members. I stand here and I want to assure you that as your governor, I stand neutral in your selection process. I'll expect you to do the right thing and always. My interest lies in ensuring that we work together. 
We work collaboratively to ensure that negotiations fill both the legislative and the executive. Each one of you, regardless of the position, brings a unique value that we have seen and the perspective to this assembly. And it is through your collective effort that you will achieve this extraordinary faith. The emergence of a speaker and other principal officers is a decision entrusted to you by the Constitution. I trust that you will carry out this duty with the highest level of integrity and respect for democratic principles. As we look forward to the future, let us remind ourselves of the importance of cooperation, dialogue, and mutual respect. The executive and the legislator are partners in this democratic journey. Our shared goal is to create a Lagos where everyone thrives, where opportunities are bound, and where our collective diversity in our people propels our unique future. I stand ready to work with the Tech Assembly, collaborating to drive impactful policies and fostering an environment where the hopes and dreams of every negotiation can be realized. As been said by the club, the Ninth Assembly did their best. Over 46 bills were passed, over 120 resolutions were set. I want to imagine and employ this house to meet and to surpass the very enviable record that was set by the Night Assembly. And of course, you know that that assembly was led by one of you here, Right Honorable Pumudashu Ajayi Obasa. And I believe that the Third Assembly will meet and surpass the records that were set by the Night Assembly. And so as you embark on this journey, together, let us remember the words of John Quincy Adams, who says, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader in your right. I believe in the leadership that will emerge from the Third Assembly, and I'm confident that our collective efforts will usher an era of unprecedented growth and development in our state. The executive have promised a greater labor's rising, and I know and I believe that the Third Assembly shared in our vision. We have promised an agenda of a team's plus plus, and I know and I believe that the Third Assembly will share in our vision. The Lagos State Tenth Assembly have been charged to carry out their duties with the highest level of integrity and respect for democratic principles. Oh,